What's going on people, it's your boy 40 oh, I'm loving life as a Newcastle United fan at the moment. These past two weeks have been absolutely immense. Not only did we clinch the championship on the last day, then obviously Rafa Benitez says he's staying and he's getting at least 70 million pounds. After that, yes, we get the biggest sponsorship deal that we've had in the longest time. So we can say goodbye to Wonga, say hello to Fun88, which is a Chinese betting company, but apparently it's the biggest deal that we've had in the longest time. So that means more money for Rafa to spend. And now Christian Atsu is about to sign a permanent deal at the club. Yes, he's been banded all around Twitter. 6.2 million pounds, which is the release clause uh, that he had his contract for last season. Obviously, he spent the, the, the previous season with us or this current season with us. Um, scored, I think, five goals, 34 appearances, 15 off the bench and made three goals as well. So not bad stats. Obviously, he's still got a lot to do. His final ball still needs working on. But the thing is that he's got time on his side. He's only 25 years of age. He's going to sign a four-year deal. Not too sure on how much the money is, but I'm sure it won't be any more than, you know, £40,000 a year. And considering the other wings that we brought on it, brought in in the past, the likes of Cabela and Tovin, who've been, what, over £10 million, astronomical figures in terms of wages as well. Atsu, at... At £6.2 million pounds is, is a smart move because obviously we already know what he can do judging by last season. Now, I also believe that something else triggered this move as well. And this is just me, you know, putting two and two together and probably coming up with five. But hear me out on this one. So obviously we was in for Townsend in January. That didn't materialise. But I think they wanted, Crystal Palace that is, wanted £13 million pounds if it was going to happen. Fast forward now, obviously Hull have gone down. They've taken the final spot alongside Sunderland and Middlesbrough. So that means Crystal Palace are going to be staying in the Premier League next season. Now, I would have believed Sam Allardyce would have said to Townsend, look, you could go to Newcastle United in the summer, but they're in the same position as us coming up into the Premier League. Crystal Palace are now going to be a Premier League club the next season. They've got money to spend. They've seen it, they've seen it and done it before, spent good money. So what's the point going to Newcastle United unless you genuinely love the club? Had Crystal Palace gone down, I'm not too sure if the Atsu deal would have been completed or completed this quickly as well. Because considering, you know, the season's only finished like just over a week ago, this is quite quick moves for Newcastle United standards as well. But Atsu will be joining up with the rest of the club uh, for pre-season training around July the 3rd. Uh, so you're going to be straight in. Obviously, he already knows the club, so... All in all, it's, it's a win-win situation for us all and, you know, a really, really good move and something different that he offers in that position as well. Judging by who we've got already in that position, we've got Richie, who is as good as anyone in that position, but he's not your type of Keith Gillespie, Ben Arthur sort of winger who's going to ghost past players. He does things in his own different way and more power to him because judging by last season standards, keep doing what you're doing, Matt Ritchie, because we love you. Gufran, on the other hand, obviously had a good start to last season, but he's not even secure of if he's, whether he's going to be here next season or not. So that's a different story altogether. Aaron's, again, will be rivaling Atsu, I believe, on that side. Officers pace and trickery, but obviously he didn't start or even play that much of last season, obviously due to injury. So it's a good move. Um absolutely over the moon over it I know I wasn't his biggest fan sometimes but towards the end of the season I could see what he was offering that directness those balls into the box and that creativity as well now I believe we just need to go out and get another striker to to basically reap the rewards and the benefits from having Atsu one side and hopefully Richie on the other side as well I still believe we need another winger um, especially if we don't know the future of Gufran but to get this deal done so early as well is just a weight off our shoulders really. And now we can start looking towards other areas of the pitch as well. So all in all, it's been a good two weeks as well. Could be finished off by Peter Beersley doing the double promotion tonight against West Ham as well with the under 23s. So fingers crossed, fingers crossed that that happens as well. And yeah, more power to Newcastle United for actually getting their finger out and getting straight into it as well. Because let's face it, he wasn't going to make it into the Chelsea team. You know, they've just won the league. Best believe Roman Abramovich is going to give uh, Conte a bag load of money, especially now that they've just won the league to, to sign even more wingers as well. Probably wasn't going to get past Moses or Alonso in the team. No disrespect to Atu. So again, it just makes sense for all parties and a really, really good deal. £6.2 million. Can't go wrong with that. So there we have it, man. Let's see if we can get some more news, some more good news by the end of the week. 
Take care of yourself. See you all soon. Keep it tuned. Peace.